So I'm not sure what assertions you added, but let's look at the, some of the ones that I decided to add. So one condition we can do is if self.tail is greater than self.head, then the difference between them has to be the size. That is to say, the distance between the head and tail has to be the number of elements currently in the queue. On the other hand, if the tail is less than the head, then that means the tail has already wrapped around. And in this case, the difference between head and tail has to be equal to max minus the size of the queue. The third case that we have here is that if the head and tail are at the same place, then either the queue is empty or the queue is full. So let's go ahead and run this on the buggy code and see what happens. So we violated an assertion, and better yet, we violated an assertion in the check rep function. So that's good. So what this means is, by violating an assertion in a check rep function, we caught the bug, we terminate the program, and we can debug the code using sort of localized debugging inside this data structure. We don't have to do some huge tracking down of where the bad values came from. OK, so we want to do one final check here to make sure my assertions are right. I want to go to my buggy key code, fix it, and run the code again. And what we want is all of these assertions should succeed during the test cases. OK, good. So that was the case.